All right, um, here is a short video on how to embed resources in your distribution file, in your executable. At the moment, um, if you distribute the executable, you've got to distribute the XML file, that uh, the Glade XML file. If you have any images, you have to distribute those as separate images um, because they're being loaded, icons and so forth. Uh, can you do it so that they're embedded in the, in the source code? And the answer is yes. Um, first of all, build a file. Something or other .xml. I call this resource.xml. And this is what the file looks like. These two lines are the important one, important ones. Um, first one here is the part one dot glade. That's my glade file. Okay. Yeah, because it is an XML file, it says it's gonna strip blanks and so forth, but that's the glade file. Uh, secondly, I've added, this is the same example as, as, as the previous part 33, uh, but I did add an image just to show how images work. And the image is avatar1.png, and uh, it's going to appear here, as you can see in the, in the glade file. Um, the only thing I can say here is don't add blanks. No blanks. Um, for some reason, it, it gets upset when it sees blanks. Okay, you have to give it a prefix. This is a name you make up. Uh, it's, um, the, the prefix will be used in referencing it. So I called it part one. That seemed reasonable. And uh, it'll be part one slash part one dot glade and part one slash avatar dot png inside the program. So give it a name. Uh, put down as many as you need to incorporate uh, graphics files and, um, and XML files, presumably only one XML file. Okay, so write that. And then uh, I modified the compile script. I added this line, glib compile resources. This takes the information from the resource.xml, reads those files in, and it creates a C program. And the C program, again, you can name it what you want, but I called it part one resource.c. This program will be created and it will consist of data initialization and code uh, that will uh, be used to access the resources that you mentioned in resource.xml. Again, you don't have to call it resource.xml. I, I didn't call it part one.xml because. Um, that gets confusing with the other stuff, but you can call it just about anything you want as long as it doesn't conflict. Okay, so we've um, so it's going to create part one resource.c and it's going to use the instructions in resource.html in order to do it. Okay, and then on the actual compilation line, I added part one resource.c. It'll now be compiled with the application. So what's going to happen is Resource one, uh, part one resource.c will contain the PNG file and the XML file, and they will be embedded um, in a coded form. And that will be embedded in your larger program. I've already done this, so um, see what it looks like. Um, whoops. This is what it looks like. This is what the um, the C file uh, looks like, as you can see there. It's got a giant hexadecimal table, which is the data, of course. And there's quite a bit of it. And there's other code here um, at the bottom, um, which you don't have to worry about. Everything seems to work. It's automatically generated. So just forget about it. Um, but that gets generated. All right. Uh, now, how to use it? Well, first of all, when I added the image, everything else in here is the same, but when I added the image, you see it's image one, where is the image coming from? All right, it's coming from a resource. We haven't done that before. We've done it from a file, we've done it from a stock ID. I guess we did an icon name, I'm not sure. Anyway, slash part one slash avatar one dot PNG. Part one was the prefix I gave. You have to have the prefix, and you have the um, the name of the resource. So that is the resource associated with this image. All right, everything else is just standard. I didn't modify anything. The only thing that's unusual is this here, and it's got the prefix and it's got the name of the resource. All right, inside your program, there's image. Okay. Uh, 
instead of the GTK builder new from file, which reads it from a file, I have GTK new from resource. And the resource is, again, the prefix, slash part one, slash part one dot glade. That's the name of the file that's embedded. And it will load it from that other big giant table. How it does it, we don't care. It just does it. It works. Okay, um, I have to, of course, fetch the image. If I don't do this, of course, it won't get the information as to where the image is actually located. But that's all there is to it. Nothing else has changed. Everything else is the same as it was before. Um, so, no big deal. Uh, the problem, the thing is that now it, you don't have to distribute the PNG file and you don't have to distribute the .glade file. So when I run it, there it is. And you can see uh, that's the av that's Avatar 1. It brought it in, in and um, obviously it got the Glade file because um, there it is. Well, it did get the Glade file, but um, you might want to make this a little bigger but uh, because the image was larger um, than, um, than was allowed for. But nonetheless, um, it works. Um, it's nice when that happens. All right.